Hi there, it's Erin Clark from WellPlated.com and I hope that you are ready to round up to five o'clock because it is cocktail time. We are making my St. Germain cocktail. It's very light and bubbly, but it is stronger than you think. So to start out, you want to measure into a cocktail shaker, an ounce and a half of gin or vodka. Next up are St. Germain. If you've never had St. Germain, it is an elderflower liqueur. It's a little sweet and floral, and it has a really wonderful, unique flavor that I love using in a variety of different cocktails, especially this one. Now that we have our strong flavor from the gin and our sweet from the St. Germain, we are going to balance it out with a little bit of acid from the lemon juice. And it's time to shake. So I'm gonna fill the cocktail shaker with ice. You wanna do this after you've added the liquid, not before, so that you don't water the drink down too much. Now our lid goes on and you wanna shake for a full 30 seconds. I'm telling you, it is longer than you think, especially when your friends are watching, but it's totally worth it to make sure that you get a nicely mixed drink. Whew, I am earning this drink, let me tell you. Now we strain it into our glass. I'm feeling extra fancy today, so I like to do it in a champagne flute. This is one of my favorite drinks to make for my girlfriends. It gets even more fun. We're going to top this drink with a little bit of bubbly. Is it just me or are bubbly drinks just more fun? To garnish the drink, I like to add a peel of lemon. So I'm gonna drop the lemon peel right in. And now our lovely St. Germain cocktail is ready to serve. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Erin from wellplated.com and I look forward to seeing you back here next time. Hope you have a happy hour.